What's up guys, I'm Roderick, aka Rob Man, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the best class in every single Souls game. Of course, this is my opinion, every class in the Souls games are viable and good. If you like retro video gaming, anime, and gameplay videos, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content just like this. So, let's get right into the video. So the best class in Demon Souls, I believe that it is the Temple Knight. So the Temple Knight starts off with some of the best survivability in the entire game because it starts off with the God Pendant, which gives it access to using healing miracles at a very, very early point in the game. The Temple Knight is excellent for somebody who wants a really good jack of all trades build and somebody who can hit really hard with melee attacks and be very versatile with using magic and miracles as well one thing that also is a very good plus for the temple knight is that it starts off at soul level four which if you don't know in souls games it is very beneficial to have your soul level be as low as possible at the beginning of the game so you can put points in what you want to put in for example if i choose the knight class and he starts off at soul level nine that means there's going to be points in things that i don't care about if i'm doing a strength build i don't want there to be points in faith so the temple knights perk of starting off at soul level 4 gives it a lot of room to have more versatile builds but that's what I believe the best class is in Dark Souls or Demon Souls excuse me let's move on to Dark Souls 1 so I believe the best class in Dark Souls 1 is gonna go to the Pyromancer the reason why I believe this is because the damage output with the correlation of pinpoints during the game is just utterly ridiculous. There should be no reason why this class does that much damage at certain points of the game. One perk of choosing the Pyromancer class is that it starts off at soul level one, which like I mentioned previously is really good because it gives you more time to distribute your stats to your liking on top of that is amazing in PvP it will absolutely melt people in PvP and it has a really good early game because for pyromancy you're not gonna get access to pyromancy until a little bit into the game so you're gonna be stuck using you know axes and swords until then but they're very proficient in those things though so they do really good physical damage. They have very good strength, very good endurance, very good vitality, alongside being insanely proficient in magic with pyromancy, of course. Later on in the game, you get access to the elite pyromancy spells, which absolutely will obliterate anybody in PvP, and it will absolutely obliterate anybody in the main game you get access to toxic spells you have a lot of things in your arsenal this class is very versatile and it makes for an amazing experience playing dark souls one so let's go ahead and move on to dark souls 2. in my previous video i talked about the worst class from every souls game and some of you may have noticed that the wretch and the deprived were not on that list why because those classes are actually insane in every souls game specifically in dark souls 2. why do i say that the deprive is the best class in dark souls 2 is because players of dark souls 2 may have noticed that it costs a lot less souls to level up your character which means that if you start as a deprive you're level one which means that you're going to have so much versatility and you're going to have the ability to truly customize your character however you want. One unique thing about Dark Souls 2 
is that you can do multiple builds on one character. You can have a person who has the max strength and a person who has the max dexterity on the same character at a relatively low level compared to the rest of the Souls game. And the deprive that just enhances the experience since you're going to be around 10 levels ahead of somebody else doing the same thing. But of course, the Deprive has the worst early game in the entire game out of any class. You start off with nothing at all, no armor, a club, a really crappy weapon. So this is definitely a class that veterans should choose. If you're a newcomer, I would definitely stay away from the Deprive, but it is a really good class to play. So let's go ahead and move on to a Dark Souls 3. For Dark Souls 3, I believe that the best class in the game is going to go to the Warrior. Now, magic is very good in this game, but the options of the Great Swords and Melee builds is just too powerful for me not to put the Warrior on this list. Not only that, the warrior is actually the best class for two different builds, strength and dexterity. So if you're a dex player, nine times out of 10, you're gonna choose the warrior. If you're a strength player, nine times out of 10, you're gonna choose the warrior. On top of that, this early game is very good. It starts off with some of the best armor in the game and it starts with a whopping 16 strength and 12 dexterity, which is extremely high when it comes to starting levels. So the warrior is all around an absolute monster and using the things like the Fume Ultra Great Sword and crazy strong axes and things like that, you will obliterate any boss in the game. On top of that, Dark Souls 3's combat is actually very, very fast paced. It's a little slower than Bloodborne, but Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3 definitely have the fastest paced combat in the entire series, which means that if you're a spellcaster, it's going to be a lot more difficult for you to get your spells off. So you would be better off with going with a more melee build anyways. But let's go ahead and move on to Bloodborne. So I believe the best origin class in Bloodborne is going to go to the military veteran. Now Bloodborne's combat is insanely fast and you're going to have to prioritize melee pretty much because not a lot of people do gun builds or anything like that. So the military veteran is proficient in strength and skill. So this is pretty much a jack of all trades build. It has the second highest starting points in strength and it also has the second highest starting points in skill which gives you a really really strong early game and bloodborne is one of the more difficult souls games so you're going to want all the help you can get in the beginning especially going against bosses like father gascoigne and, and things like that but that's what I believe the best class is in Bloodborne. All the classes are actually very, very good, unlike some other Souls games. So let's go ahead and move on to Elden Ring. Guys, this is actually really hard because all the classes in Elden Ring are very, very good. And it pains me as a Vagabond player. I'm definitely going to say this is a tie between two classes which is the first time ever this has happened on the channel the warrior and the astrologer are tied at number one for the best class in Elden Ring the warrior is going to be your go-to for your dexterity builds which is utterly broken in Elden Ring and the astrologer is going to be your go-to class for your magic builds which is also utterly broken in Elden Ring. On top of that, the warrior has the highest dexterity stat starting off in the game and has 
very above average stats in everything else. The astrologer starts off with the highest mind and intelligence stat and it has respectable stats in all of the other ones. So your early game is going to be very good with both of these classes and they just continue to get stronger and stronger, especially with the broken magic and weapons like rivers of blood. But that's it for this video, guys. If you like the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content just like this. And I want to thank you guys. We just hit a thousand subs. Rodman out. Peace.